Now let's understand how to serialize the list of object, right? So now I'm going to create the list. So my list is going to have a customer object. I'm going to call it as whatever list. So new array list. Array list. I'm going to specify the customer object. Right. So let me import everything. So I'm importing from Java in the package. I'm importing this array list from Java the three package again. So right. Let me add the few object to the list, few customer object to the list. So I'm adding the customer object, so customer. So I'm passing the ID, I'm passing the name, I'm passing the date of birth. So let's find the new date, right? So this object from Java original package, right? So now, let me change the value as one, two. I'm going to change this for the name Krishna. Let me create one more row. I'm going to say one or three. So I'm going to pass it as for the char. And now I'm going to serialize this list using what you know the JSON builder. So JSON builder gb equal to new JSON builder. Now in the JSON builder, I'm going to set the date forward since we have already how to do that date forward I'm going to say the date forward is td mm yyy so that's a date forward so now json json equal to gb dot create right so now this json can serialize this to json I'm going to pass what you know on this object let me do what you know, sys out to give an idea. So now let me run this class. So you can see what you know, we serialize the list of customer object. So the reason I added what you know, the JSON builder, I want to show one more thing, something called in the JSON builder, you have an option called GB dot sit ready print. So when you enable this particular option, you can actually run this example. Now output will be what you know, pretty much formatted and then what you know will be shown to you. So that's what you know I was trying to use the JSON builder. So hope you got how to serialize the list object using JSON builder in the JSON API.